when I woke up in the morning, I, I was ready to speak on something. And, and thank God you don't know what I was going to speak about. When I was ready for it, 30 minutes, about 30 minutes before this first service, there was a shift. And I heard the Lord was taking me to a different direction. Something that maybe I have preached here. You know sometimes we don't remember what we have preached but if we have preached we will preach it again. Because if the Lord wants me to say it and it is for you I will say it. But sometimes he wants me to say it not for you but for me. But he knows if I tell you as I look at your face it will bounce back to me. I want you to be a good bouncing board or a good soft board so that if it is yours you get it. If it is mine let it bounce back to me. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run haki, into it watakimbilia. and they are saved. That's what I want to speak about. Hayo I heard God trying to remind me that Jimmy, that Jimmy, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. And I want to tell you this. The truth of the matter is there could be a tower but unless you run into it you have no safety. When Muzungus came here, wakati wa zungu and that's why I'm saying Muzungus na, who nikasema, colonized us, walio tutawala, wh wherever they went, they made a fort. Ah, kila walipoenda walipanya kitu. People from Moranga, you had a fort a hall. Ah, walikuwa na a jumba majengo. People majenga. from Ukambani, you had a fort Smith. Walipanya kitu kinachoa itu a fort. People from Mombasa, you had a Forty Jesus. Walikuwa pale Mombasa na Forty Jesus. But the missionaries were living with us in Kahuia. Lakini hawa missionaries walikuwa nasi Kahuia, in Jobe. They were living in uh, in uh, uko 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 Karatina. Kwa keso mo keso mazerama keso mo. What is that hospital called? Tomotomo. Tomo. Yani they were in Tomotomo. Mm -hmm. Walikuwa pale and Tomo -tomo. in Gandu. Na Gandu pia. But those that had come for the king's service, they were living with guns and arms in forties. Running there, it's where your security was. If you did not run there, even if you talked about it, even if you sang about it, it will not help you. The truth you know but you don't practice. It is a song that you sing. Unless I practice. Unless I use that word. My life will still be the same. I went to a school somewhere. And my, pro my professor did not believe what he was teaching us. And one time we cornered him. Because when you are telling everybody that these people do this, these ones do this, those ones do, we ask him, and do you? And why we ask him that question? It's because one evening he took us the leaders for dinner. But in, I was in those countries where unless somebody tells you I want to treat you. No, I want to treat you. 
Aha, akwambie atakununulia. Akikura tudhie raji. Akikwambia twende chakula cha mchana. Unaenda kujinunulia. Aha, utajinunulia you buy it for yourself. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa hiyo. Mhm, ikawa so it was twende lunch. Ah, nienda nikakununulia. Lakini atununuli. Oho, hiyo ilikuwa ile ya usio nunuliwa. So when we ate whatever we are eating. Basi tulipokula tulichokuwa tule. He asked for wine akauliza mvinyo my professor ah, my theological wangu. professor huyu mkufunzi wangu wa mafunzo ya biblia so we asked him basi tukamhoji mwalimu mwalimu what's going on ni nini kinachoendelea he said akasema kimya i don't do it in england aha sifanye haya kule uingereza but this is sweden lakini hapa ni sweden mhm anakemea See there are some of us that know some truth. Aha, ni kwamba baadhi yetu tunajua ukweli. But it is only when you are with other Christians. Lakini hii yafanyika ukiwa tu na wakristo. I pray wanzi. that you are going to be a Christian. Naomba kwamba utakuwa in mkristo. Season mm-hmm. kwa majira, and out of season. Na nje ya majira. When people are seeing you. Wakati watu wako na. When nobody is seeing you. Na hata wakati watu wasipokuona. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Jina la Bwana ni ngome imara. The righteous run into it. Wenye haki wataikimbilia. And they are saved. Na watapata kuokolewa I know I never gave this scripture Najua sikupeana andiko hili Because you know it's in me sema ni that minutes before the first service so mm-hmm. ni vile unaendaga ukikumbushwa na Mungu I told you it was that minute kwamba verse 51 Waamuzi 9 mstari wa 21 Waamuzi Judges Waamuzi If you can give me judges Ukanipa waamuzi I hope I got it right Natumai nilipata sawia Oh okay Mhm Judges or oh, give me Waamuzi ndio hiyo. Okay, I will still wait. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. But there was a strong tower in the city. Lakini kulikuwa na mnara pale mjini. And all the men and women. Na wanaume na wake. All the people of the city. Watu wote wa ule mjini. They fled there. Walikimbilia pale. And they shut themselves in. Na wakajifungia ndani. Then Basi, they went up to the top of the tower. Wakaenda juu ya ule mnara. So in other words, kwa maneno mengine, the tower was for safety. Ni kwamba mnara ulikuwa wa usalama. But also from the top of the tower. Lakini kutoka juu ya mnara ule, you could see where the enemy is coming from. Ungeona adui iwaingie kutoka wapi. Have you ever gone to committee? Je, ushaoingia pale committee? And if you go to maximum Uh, 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 prison na ukaingia kile ya maximum there are towers all over kunayo minara kila mahali those towers ya minara ile they both help with the inside ye husaidia walio ndani outside na mle nje so that nobody can climb that wall kwamba hamna anayeweza panga kutoka either from outside iwe ni kutoka nje or from inside au kutoka ndani blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana lipi in other words kwa maneno mengine you and i wewe nani we are not only in safety hatupo tu kenye usalama but we have been elevated lakini tushakwezwa ama kujulia kwa sababu na hubiri mpaka unajisikia hivyo mm-hmm. you are not down there wewe haumo chini i am safe nasema but also elevated kwamba tumeingia tell your neighbor i am safe na mimi niko salama mwambie jirani i'm not saying i'm saved amwambie jirani si jaokoka niko na usalama niko na usalama aha but i'm also elevated lakini pia nimeinuliwa goboka nyume theno jikale nitapa nitoke chini nikae yani i'm not juu. only safe aha si kwamba but i am above lakini niko juu blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana so towers basi minara what not only for safety haikuwa tu ya usalama i want to talk to you as a christian nataka kuja kwako kama mkristo you are saved kwamba wewe umeokoka na umeokolewa now be elevated basi inuliwa kama ile dhambi ilikuwa ikikusumbua mm-hmm. inakusumbua hata sasa if that sin is still it is, troubling it, you you have not been elevated basi hauja you need to tell the lord to lift you up inahitaji umwambie bwana akuinue blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana litu a strong tower mnara ama is an elevated imara. tower ni mnara uliyoinuliwa a strong tower mnara ambao ni imara is a fortified 
uh, is a fortified tower. Ni mnara ambayo umedhibitika. It is a symbol of protection. Ni ishara ya ulinzi na So when we say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Basi tunaposema kwamba jina la Bwana ni ngome. We are saying my safety. Tunasema basi usalama wangu. In the name of the Lord. Uko katika jina la Bwana. He provides for me. Kwamba yeye huwa mpaji wangu. Two things. Mambo mawili. That I can trust him. Kwamba naweza mtumaini. He provides me to trust him because he's is trustworthy kwa sababu hatuweza kutumaini and i can do all this na kwamba naweza fanya yote by faith and in faith kwa imani na ndani ya imani proverbs 18 verse 10 midhari 18 mstari wa 10 solomon wrote that the name of the lord as imani akaandika kwamba jina la bwana is a strong tower ni ngome imara in the niv katika tafsiri ya niv says the name of the lord is a fortified tower inasema ni ngome iliyothibitishwa the righteous kwamba wenye haki they run into it watayukimbilia and they are saved na wataokolewa and maybe the question that we will be asking ourselves na what swali. exactly does that mean na ni kwamba haya maisha how is the name of the lord a strong tower Aha, ni jina la Bwana ni ngome imara Remember I've said it is elevated. Kumbuka nimesema imeinuliwa. The book the Bible has reminded us it Kumbuka, is fortified. Uh, Kumbuka Biblia imetuambia imedhibitishwa. I've also said it is a place imara. of protection. Nikasema pia ni mahali pa usalama. To understand then how the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Basi kuelewa jina la Bwana ni ngome imara. Today, na kwetu sasa. We have to break that verse into four, four parts. Itahitaji tuvunje ule mstari kwa vipande vile. Every session alone. Na tutazame kila kifungu peke yake. Four parts. Ah, the mne. first part is the name of the Lord. Aha, ya kwanza ni jina la Bwana. The second part is the strong tower. Na ya pili ni ngome iliyo imara. The third part will be the righteous. Na kwa ya ine ni iliyo wenye haki. And finally safety. Na ile ya mwisho ni ile ya kupata usalama. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. A name aha jina is a powerful thing. Ni kitu kilicho na nguvu. And this was widely understood in the ancient times. Na hii iliweza kueleweka katika nyakati za kale. The is now. Aha zaidi ya ile ya sasa. true. Lakini nevertheless. Ukweli hata hivyo. A name carries the identity kwamba jina linaleta ufahamu of the person named uh, kutambulika kwa mtu. It is who they are. Aha ambaye yeye ni nani? And please forgive me. Na naomba msamaha. The kikuyu is in the house. How many kikuyu are in the house today? Ni wangapi wa kikuyu? Kwa neema ya Bwana. No apologies. Hakuna kuomba radhi. The name Kemani. Aha, jina Kemani. I am named after nimeitwa The father of my mother. Aha, baba because I'm the second son. Kwa sababu mimi ni mwana wa kijana wa pili. But I'm a Christian. Lakini mimi ni Mkristo. But I'm named after the father. Lakini nimeitwa kufuatia of my mother. Ah baba ya mama yangu. Some of you got names. Baadhi yenu mlipata majina. Which traditionally ambayo katika it was not after you are mtu wao mhm si haiambatani na ulie tajwa but it was the action of your are mtu wao mhm lakini iliambatana na matendo ya ule ulioitwa kenywa mhm kenywa ama mnywaji murage murage ama aliye uliwa pasta tuti korage adureketo tuti ganena now then what you what has happened is that have you ever looked at somebody and said haya hai je ukamtazama mtu translate this very well eh huyu uli ana mtuo ana ka aliye tajwa ama itwa kwake eti ruo kenywa Mhm aliitwa Kenywa na nyuaga na ni mnywaji atuile mtuo 
You know, some of us are suffering the way we suffer. Because the name that we were called carried something that was done by the one I was to And therefore, I struggle. I'm not saying you change your name, but if you can change it. Kama mm-hmm. inakusumbua. If it's disturbing you. How about we that come from Ukambani and Nyanza? Mutinda. Mutinda wakus kukaa. Alikataa kutoka upesi. Mm-hmm. Alikaa hapu kuja haraka. Ndenya, ndenya. Alizaliwa. Aha, mchana. Mhm. Nduko, nduko alikuja usiku. Hebu niwaachie hapa. Aha. But if I discover that the name that I was called has followed my behaviors, I think I need to come to the altar and declare that Motuko has turned around. And I change myself. You know, you change your name into something. Because names, names, I know there are some of you that will call me and we will discuss because majina yenu iko hivyo but you see nah. i'm only saying if your character is like that mm-hmm. to war kama wewe tabia yako ni kama ya uliyetajwa kwa mata haijarishi i will ask the lord to deliver me nitamulomba bwana anikombo and declare I have a new name. Don't we have new names? Is the Lord has called us. Actually, just the way we call God the names we call him. Jehovah Jireh. Because of his provision. Remember he also calls us those names. That we want him to call us. God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. If you want to enjoy even when you are in the middle of the Arab world know something about Abraham. Know something about Isaac. Know about something about Jacob. Know the story of Abraham sacrificing Isaac. And they might give you water because they think kwa sababu wana nyinyi mko Mungu mmoja aha kwamba nyinyi mna Mungu mmoja so the name of the lord basi jina la bwana becomes a strong tower inakuwa ni ngome because of what the attributes of our god are kwa sababu ya mambo yanayomuelezea so through all the bible basi kupitia biblia it refers to god himself inamtaja mungu as our strength kwamba ni nguvu zetu as our rock he is our fortress. God and his name are one and the same. So when I'm saying I'll run to the rock, I'm saying he is my rock. I'm saying he is my fortress. I'm saying he is my deliverer. When you hear the name of someone, you know you have an a vision of him. Because the name carries the, what you know about them. That means that a name carries a person reputation. Karanja. If somebody says their name is Karanja. Mtu akasema jina lake ni Karanja. Where does he come from? Yeah, asema atoka wapi? Karanja comes from where? Karanja hiyo atoka wapi? Oh. Mnataka niwaambie kule anatoka. Mhm. Amujui? <laughs> but if you hear the name Maina, ukasikia jina Maina. You get confused. Na changanyikiwa. Because we have challenges that are called Arab Maina. 
We have kisses that are called maina. David, do we have miners there? Mm -hmm. But mina, you see now, mina goes all over the place. I think it was, I don't know what it was for, but you have a rap mina. You have mina, a kisi. I went with the school with a mina from kisi. But when I saw this old man called mina, who was the father in law of. Bishop Benjamin Kipruto. I knew he was not born by a Kikuyu. Then landed in Kericho. Now the problem of names is that there are some of us that are judged wrongly because of my name. I pray please allow me don't judge me from where I come from because I have relocated myself I have changed my address I am a heavenly bound my name has changed but when we talk about God the name of the Lord that is what we are saying blessed be the name of the Lord and we can see God name. We can see his reputation from the book of Joshua into the promised land. We can see the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. Joshua 2 verse 10 and 11 if you can read for us. Joshua 2 verse 10 and 11. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea. For you when you came out of Egypt and what you did the two kings of the Amorites who were on the other side of the Jordan Shion and Og whom you utterly destroy. And as soon as we heard those things, our heart melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. For the Lord your God he is God of heaven above and on earth beneath. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. Now that is Rahab confessing how the name of the Lord had protected them, had saved them, had set them free. No wonder she is saying because that name is fortified. Because that name is a strong fortress. Because that name is a mighty tower. Because there is strength in that tower. I want to belong to him. She sought that God. May we seek him. Because he's our strong tower. A tower is something that is tall. A tower is something that is high. The name of the Lord is high. In Psalms 148 verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His glory is above. Blessed be the name of the Lord. A tower is tall. The tower is strong. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The strong tower. Some of the words that can be used to talk about this strong tower. Explain to it on the physical, it is huge. It is effective when you find yourself in, in it. It can resist attack. It is uncompromising. It is firm. 
May the name of the Lord be a strong tower to you. That fortified, that strong, which is above your problem and providing all your need. Let's all of us say together, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Let's say like we mean it. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I will run there for my safety. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who is righteous? There are two things here. The righteous referring to the person. The, the word righteous referring to an action because this righteous man runs so who is righteous in this verse what is it talking about here it is righteousness according to the bible someone who has a right standing with God who believes what God says will come to pass someone who has the right standing for it is by grace you have been saved through faith it is not for yourself not by what so that you can boast yourself Ephesians 2 8 and 9 but God has called you righteous not because you are fact, uh, perfect but because he has perfected you. All oh, let the weak say they are strong because what the Lord has done for them. My righteousness has been imputed to me and it is something no one can achieve on their own. But we can maintain it by running to Jesus. By running to this strong town. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You see, the people who trespass or person who goes around it or he doesn't get to the tower and there is war he will die the other thing that I also discovered about towers then it is also the place where they put food after the harvest so that nobody can come to where it was and I feel in my spirit even for you and for me there is a strong tower where the Lord has preserved our meals where the Lord has preserved our food he will not allow listen to what David says I was a small boy but now I'm old but I have, I have never seen a righteous man who goes hungry or his child begging for bread. I'm not a beggar. The Lord has my share. But I'm going to run to that tower where my safety and provision is. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. A righteous person rushes into it and is lifted above above all the dangers finally can we feel safe in this strong town what does it mean to feel safe if you read the same verse in what we will call the in another translation, even message translation. Mm -hmm. Can we look for message translation? If you, if you have it. We are looking at uh, Proverbs 18. Just look at it, verse eight, uh, 10 and 11. If you look at it with many translations, it's going to bring you different information that can help you. God's name is a place of protection. Good people run there and be saved. The rich think their wealth protects them. They imagine themselves safe behind it. You see the contrast. That there are people who think 
your safety is money kwamba ulinzi ama usalama wao ni hela. But we come to tell you no 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 no. Lakini nimekuja nikwambia your safety is in the Lord. Usalama wako uko ndani ya Bwana. Looking at again like we had done in the NIV. Kama tulivyotazama katika NIV mstari huo. See what, what the Lord is trying to tell us. Aha ambao Bwana anajaribu kutuambia. This fortified city when we run into it we are safe. Verse number 11. Mara huu ulio imara tunaofikiria. It says the wealth of the rich is their fortified city. Inasema utajiri wa wa They imagine it war will too will be too high to scale. Ina wanafikiria kwamba kuta zao ziko juu sana haiwezi kuwezeka. It is not true. Lakini si kweli. It is we are our safety is in the lord kwamba usalama wetu uko ndani ya bwana so what does it mean to be saved basi inamaanishaje basi it same, simply says i'm lifted up above the danger ni kwamba inamaanisha nimenuliwa juu ya hatari i don't know what dangers you are in sijui ni hatari run to the safety of the lord aha jifunze kukimbia usalama wa bwana so that you can be lifted up ili aweze kukuinua juu to the tower of your safety aha kimbilia so that god can lift you up ili bwana i don't know where you are sijui upo what is pushing you down sijui kinachokusukuma chini but let's run to the rock lakini tukimbilia so that we can be lifted up to our safety ili tukainuliwe So looking at that word in the original language. We get ya, these phrases. Uh-huh, that because we have been lifted. Something like we cannot be accessed. We are fikiwa. too high. Tuko juu sana. We cannot be accessed. Hatuwezi fikiwa. We are too high. Kwamba tuko juu. We cannot be captured. Hatuwezi shikwa ama tekwa we are too high kwamba tuko juu above evil aha juu ya maovu oh may god help me and help you hebu bwana anisaidie na akusaidie to know that i can be lifted kwamba nifahamu naweza inuliwa where there is no danger mahali hakuna hatari and i can be lifted na naweza inuliwa in my mind katika mawazo yangu so ya. i start talking the language of heaven kwamba nianze kuzungumza lugha ya mbinguni yesterday we had um, Uh, some my neighbor's daughter was getting married yesterday Aha, that, 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 that is not the most important part but we met some of my old friends one of them who came moja wao at one time in life wakati moja maisha he had gotten so unwell alikuwa mgonjwa sana that he could not practice what he normally practices kwamba hangefanya kazi afanyayo And I saw him walking with his feet and smiling and coming. So I told him what a miracle. Na nikamwona akitembea na nikamwambia mujiza ina gani. And indeed it was. Na kwa kweli ilikuwa. He flew from Mombasa. That was also a miracle. But the miracle was talking about. Alipana ndege kutoka Mombasa. What God had done for him. Kwa sababu ambayo Bwana alikuwa amemtendea. Because God is able to do what doctors when they have given up on us bwana anaweza fanya zaidi wakati madaktari wametuma the lord can do it for us bwana anaweza a place of safety mahali pa usalama the name of the lord is where true safety mahali neno la bwana ni mahali pa and protection can be found na ulinzi unaweza patikana i told you about this clip that i saw nikawaambia kuhusu kitu nilichokiona kwa mitandao somebody send it to me ah mtu akanitumia Maybe he was trying to tell me Bishop Bonda Mali. Mhm, ni kama aliniambia it because he was dying. Ni kwa sababu alikuwa afa. Tell your neighbor ata utakufa. Mhm. Mm. <laughs> he was he was dying. Alikuwa afa. And he comes from those countries that when you are dying the doctors all also tell you when you are going to die. Na akawa atokeza inchi ambazo karibu kukufa daktari anakuambia siku yako. So the whole family, the Waivo. wife the Aha, children familia, and the grandchildren watoto, were very wa, sorrowful around his bed walikuwa na hofu wakiwa amezunguka kitanda he was chaki. with a mask because he was crying to breathe na alikuwa amewekwa mask ili yaweze kupumua but i think they missed the time for his dying lakini ni kama walikosa wakati wake wa kufa because he died ni kwa kuwa alikufa alia mapema kabla 
So they all put on, you know, they put on celebration gear and they started celebrating, blowing and everything. Mm -hmm. And the son went to the safe and opened it and there were heaps of notes and mm -hmm. he was dishing it to everybody. Then the old man coughed. Mm -hmm. He came back to life. Then they returned all the money and lost and they all came back very sorrowful. The person who sent me that caption says, Bishop, the money is not the same. There are people waiting when you fall. I'm not saying that's what my children are looking at, but I'm saying there are there are people. There are people. Kuna watu. Maybe my partners in ah, business. Pengine washirika wangu katika biashara. But the truth is. Lakini ukweli ni kwamba as long as I'm alive Aha. Kadri, and I don't trust naishi. my resources Na that I'm saved in nilinyo. God's hand. Ni kwa mkono wake mungu. They used to say this long time ago wasema hivi, miaka that ya if a kikuyu is dead Kwamba, mkikuyu akafa, and you drop a shilling na he will wake up first Atainuka look kwa at the shilling ajitwai, then continue dying. It's a lie from the devil. There are many kikuyus who have died. And they died with money. And nobody has removed it in their pocket. One of them died with gold around him. He did not wake up. What I'm trying to say is this. Because my time is going to come. My safety is not on what I have. I will thank God when he moves me from a room that was everything. You know the three in one. It was the kitchen. It was the bedroom. And the oh, it was four in one. No, no, it was three in one. The, the, the fourth one was outside. We queued outside with the towels to know who will go in first. You know when you tell some of these guys who met us with those, they wonder, you ni kweri? Yeah. Ni rumu moja. Iko na kitanda. Iko na tuviti, to sofa setipari. Na hapo ndi unapigagia, dipo unakura. And you eat from that place. Hallelujah. When you eat, you have a stove yako inje, lakini unasimama stove hapo. Outside Baka tambi yake, iishi. Kwa sababu kuna mtu unaweza muwekea inje, na ya nakuja hakiondoka na ayo. So I'm saying God has moved you from that one. Aha, nasema kwamba Bwana amekutoa pale. The one that is one bedroom. Ah, akakuingiza kwenye But it has a kitchen. Chumba chini, chumba cha kula na ina choo. Then God moves you from that one. Na Bwana anakutoa pale. Two room one. Anakupeleka viumba viwili. Don't viwin. put your hope in those things. Aha, usiweke tumaini lako kwenye. You will kwenye leave it. Utaviacha. Is a strong time. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. A few years I made stickers. Which one was on rapture. And it was written. If you find this car empty. Aha, ukapata gari hili likuwa tu. I have been tuku. raptured. Nishanya kuli it is yours. Gari hili litakuwa lako. Mm -hmm. Because I don't need it. Kwa kuwa sita rihitaji. So if you find it empty, Basi na sita ruti, na, when I'm raptured, I'm raptured. Nikiwa ni menya kuliwa, ni menya kuliwa. Ole wako, no, kama nitakuwa or, raptured, iva nikiwa ni na deni yako. Iva you will have write it off. If I were you, why can't I write it now? Off. Ili tuwe tukisalimiana. Kuna wengine hapa musalimiana nagi. Kwa sababu wali kukopa five thou. Na ajalipa. Akikuwa raptured. Whether you like it or not. You write it off. Why don't you write it off? When he can enjoy it. 
uh, ili uweze kuifurahia. Wengine wanasema never. <laughs> Wengine wanasema itawezekana. Kamwe. In 1978. Mwaka wa 78. 78. No 79. Aha, 79. I came to Nairobi. Nilikuja Nairobi for a wedding. Kwa harusi. And uh, I was working in Muranga, so I came to Nairobi for a wedding. Nikakuwa nafanya kazi Muranga, nikawa nimekuja kwa harusi Nairobi. Na nilikuwa na tupesa. I had some money. Na hii harusi ilikuwa na rafiki yangu. The wedding was for a Nika friend. Nikanunua kasuti kapia. I bought a Kasha new suit. Kapia. A new shirt. Kapai kapia. A new suit. Na tuviat. And some shoes. Hey! Uh-huh. Moto wa kuotea mbali. Sharp. When I went to the wedding, nilipo enda pale kwenye harusi. The master of ceremony did not show up. Kiongozi wa harusi ama anayeongoza ile harusi hakutoka I got promotion. Nikakwezwa. Kapandisha. Ukuage tayari. You mm-hmm. can be promoted. <laughs> Mwambie jirani mm, to be ready anytime. You know high table inaweza appear anywhere. So I was ready for the high table. High table ikawa tu tayari. Na nilikuwa tayari. In 1978 Katika mwaka wa 78 I had given someone some money to buy a BMW. Nilikuwa nimemkopesha. Nimekopesha mm-hmm. mtu. Sasa naona watu wanastuka. Bishop mm-hmm. kwani ulikuwa na pesa nyingi sana? Mm-hmm. BMW haikuwa ya pesa nyingi. Kwanza kama imetumiwa mahali pengine. Uh, Ilikuwa ngiri kama 20 something, si 22, si 20 something. Kitu kidogo. Mm-hmm. Si kumpa yote. Lakini umpa kiasi. I gave a portion. Na alianza kunihepa. Na ni ndugu alikuwa ameokoka. He was born again. So as a master of ceremony I was everything interpreter. Kama basi kiongozi wa haya. And I would interpret in three languages and pray in three languages. Kwa lugha tatu. I pray in Kikuyu, I pray in Kiswahili, I pray in English. Kikuyu, Kiswahili na Kizungu. As I introduce another speaker. Nikiwa namkaribisha mnenaji mwingine. I saw the brother. Nikamuona ndugu. He had come to the wedding. Alikuwa amekuja kwenye harusi. And I started praying. Na nikaanza kuomba. Nimemuona. Uh-huh. Tuko na yeye leo. We 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 Ataniona. He will see me. But as I said that, I heard the Lord tell me. Nikasikia bwana akiniambia. 1976. Mwaka wa 76. Ulikuwa nayo. Nikasema la. Did you have it? Pesa zikuwa. Na 1977 nikasema la. 1977 idi. 1978 Go and tell him you have given him. So when the spirit was high Wakati roho alikuwa juu for three, three languages. Baada ya kuomba na lugha tatu. I went and said, "Hey brother." Nikamwambia ndio ndugu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Ile deni yangu the debt nime, you owe me. Ni, sasa hauna. I forgiven you don't have any debt. Akaanza kulia. He started crying. Akanilipa mande. He paid me on Monday. Kuna watu hapa. There are people here. Maybe if you write them off Aha, pengine they will pay you on Monday they will pay which is tomorrow na nikesho. the name of the Lord Jina la buana. is a strong town the righteous Wenye haki. they run into it and they are saved how many people are righteous here how many people feel the Lord Wenye has made haki. them right Wangapi ambao wanahisi Bwana amekufanya mwenye haki. Hey, hata watu wanisikii. Wa mm-hmm. Nilisema hivi, Ay. si haki yako. Yes. Ni yeye amekupatia haki. Ni watu wangapi wamepewa haki na Mungu wetu? Yaani ulisema Yesu tu naye akakufanya haki. And Jesus made you righteous. Then if you are, basi kama you wewe. can run to him. Ah, and you will be saved. It doesn't kukole. matter what your problem is. It doesn't matter ita. what your situation is. Hali yako. You can run into him. Mkimbilia. And you can be saved. Na we will sing that chorus twice. Huo umbe ule and you marami. tell God what it is. Na umuambia bwana ambacho because I will not pray for you. Kwa sababu I will also go stand there. Because pa. I also want to run to him. Kwa sababu pia because ni he is my strong 
hometown. Kwa sababu yeye ni ngome imara. Is it marriage? Je ni doa? Is it business? Je ni biashara? Is it money? Je ni pesa? Is it work? Je ni kazi? Is it health? Je ni Is it relationship? Je ni uhusiano? Is it domestic? Je ni mambo ya nyumbani? What is it? Ni nini kile? Run to him. Mkimbilie. Run to him. Mkimbilie. Let's all stand up. Hebu tusimame. The name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana. Ni ngome imara. The righteous run into it. Wenye haki. Hata ikimbilia na wataokolewa